Hi guys, this is Blake Anderson, and in this video I'm going to describe to you how I created these two types of maps in Jude Layers 3 uh, in After Effects. Uh, I will go step by step in terms of how I created these maps. Um, maps such as this uh, are great because they set uh, context for your videos. Uh, you can also add various information, uh, a bunch of data that you can source from the internet. So I will touch on that as well, uh, so stay tuned. Hi guys, so I'm in After Effects and this is the map comp I created uh, for the zoom in of Toronto. Uh, so what it does is it uh, zooms in basically from, you know, the height of the world into Toronto, into the, the bay of Toronto there uh, by the uh, Toronto Island. And so in order to create this map, what I did is I created a new map comp. So what you're going to do once you open up GeoLayers, you're going to create a new map comp and then you're going to, you know, set the size. So in this situation, because I'm making an Instagram story, it's 1080 by 1920. And the frame rate, I mean, you could set it at 25, but I, I put 24. And then I think it's at 15 seconds. Um, you could put it shorter or longer, but, um, you know, usually Instagram stories are about 15 seconds. So I, I'll keep it at that. And then I'll click uh, next. And it's going to give you different options of how you want to style, like different styles of the maps. And the style that I created for this map is this one right here. And so you click on that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the location. So, you know, you can pick your location, but I'm going to do Toronto. And then I'm going to search it, press enter. And I'm going to select uh, this one right here. Uh, so I click on this. And then basically I'm going to create the composition. So what Geolayers is going to do is it's going to draw the map. And now the next step is, so basically I've already created this map before, right? Uh, but um, what you want to do is you're basically going to want, so let's say you want to zoom in the map, right? Oops. Um, so let's say you want to zoom in the map. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with, you know, zoomed out. You can say you want to zoom out quite a bit farther and then you're gonna click uh, keyframes so let's say you want to set it here you set the keyframe here zoomed out and then let's say you want to zoom in very quickly maybe four seconds so you're basically in a your keyframe is gonna set it and, uh, and you're gonna zoom in to Toronto and you're going to then set the well keyframe automatically gets set so you can see it's gonna do a zoom in now, right? And what you can also do is you can change the pitch and the bearing. So that's what I also like to do. And so what the pitch does is it's gonna, you know, it'll slightly change the, you know, the pitch, obviously. And the bearing is, you know, how, like, I guess, the, you know, 360, you can, you can rotate it. You can click finalize here. And what that does is that's going to draw the map, um, draw the different um, animation on the map. So, uh, it does take some time, but um, you know, depending on how fast your computer is. So yeah, and it's done. So basically, what it does is it you know zooms out and then it zooms in to the map uh, location Toronto. And like I said, you can change both the bearing and the pitch, and you can find that under you know the world map comp. So um, yeah, I would suggest playing around with uh, both the bearing and the pitch. Uh, it does add you know a bit of um, you know, a cool animation that kind of rotates as well as, as it zooms in. So that's how you do the first map. All right guys, so, and this is my second map that I created. Uh, it's flying to Alberta, uh, into the Rockies in Canada. Then it zooms in, it rotates, it goes towards the Rockies, uh, past Calgary, uh, then towards Canmore. And I guess the key here is I added labels to this map and that's a feature of GeoLayers that you can do. Uh, as you can see, I put Calgary, Canmore, and uh, Bath as labels. So it labels the cities for you. And what I will show you is how I create this map. So basically this is a, the 3D, uh, 3D map uh, style that comes with GeoLayers. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up GeoLayers and it's gonna give you, you know, various options, right? And so I would suggest, um, just a sec here. So you want to click on um, 
uh, 3D landscape. And so this is uses also Trap Code Mirror, which is a, a Red Giant software. And that's the one I select. You could select the other ones, but um, this is the one I used. So you're gonna open up Geo Layers, and I'm actually gonna put it here on the side so that you can see both your 3D map and also you know your controller right here, right? So I'll put Calgary and make Alberta, Alberta, all right, there you go. So I'm gonna click on Calgary and what it does is it creates this 3D map, right? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to zoom out quite a bit, um, you know, so I can basically see the entirety of, um, you know, North America. Actually, I might zoom in a little bit here. And then I'm gonna set a keyframe, right? And I'm gonna put, put my playhead at the beginning and then I'm going to click the keyframe. And then let's say I want to zoom in quite quickly. It's just going to be a very quick zoom in of uh, the Rockies. So I'm going to zoom in and uh, towards Calgary. And as I zoom into Calgary, I'm also going to set, um, change the pitch and the, um, sorry. Um, I'm going to ch change the, pitch and the bearing. So um, let's say I started with, let's say I want to start with bearing B0. Um, and let's say I want the um, bearing also B0. And actually, no, I'm going to keep the, the bearing, uh, sorry, the same with, because I kind of want to fly in from the, you know, west side of um, North America. And so what this can, then I'm going to change the, the pitch as it zooms in. So I'm going to put it to the zoom in. So I'm going to then, you know, change the pitch. And so that's going to change the pitch of the map. And so there you go. So what it has is you're going to zoom in. As it zooms in, it's changed the pitch. And I could also rotate it a little bit here. So it changed a bit of the bearing. Let's say I wanted to like zoom around the mountains or the Rocky Mountains and then towards Calgary. So that way it creates, you know, a bit of a, you know, 90 degree kind of zoom in, right? So that's all by setting keyframes here, right? So it's key that you click uh, the keyframe. And another aspect is I can do is I can draw on top of the map. I can draw labels. So let's say I, um, and then the reason why it's not loading here is because, you know, After Effects, you actually need to finalize, um, click here to finalize the map. That way it will draw the actual map for you. So uh, in order to save time, I won't draw the map, but um, what you can do is you could, let's say I wanted to draw Calgary, like a label for Calgary. I'll click Calgary here and then search Calgary. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw, sorry, I'm gonna add label to Calgary. There, so basically it's gonna create a label of Calgary, right? So, but what I wanna do is I want it, as it zooms in, I want to then it to uh, to highlight Calgary as, as the label, right? So what it's gonna do is, like I said, it's gonna zoom in from, you know, the west end of North America, and then it's gonna rotate a bit, and then it's gonna pop up and show Calgary. So I hope you learned some helpful tips in this video in terms of how to create maps in GeoLayers 3. Uh, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.